Yo, what's up, guys? I feel fucked at the moment. I feel absolutely messed. But there's no end. 17 years old, almost college dropout. I haven't been doing as well as I've thought I would be doing. I know I could do better. It's all my fault. It is all my fault. And I, I, I just... This is the reason why most entrepreneurs fail. And most entrepreneurs give up. Because the majority of them cannot handle this level of stress. The stress of responsibility. It's all my fault, guys. It's the fact that I've been just mediocre. I've stayed in the same place for over a year. I've been a little shitter. I've been complacent. I've been lazy. I've been arrogant. I thought I knew it all. I don't know shit. And that's the beauty of not knowing shit, right? Because if you don't know anything... Then, with the, with the introduction of the internet, where we have unlimited free information, you can learn anything you want, so you can know something. Well, a lot of people, like, are self-taught these days. It goes uni, still. You're fine. I, I don't want to be a coder. I don't want to be a programmer. I somewhat like to be a YouTuber, but for the most part, it isn't what I want. Uh, it's going to sound very, very stupid and obnoxious, but what I want is just to be lazy all day and have a bunch of money. And I, like, rigorously save as well. Like, I go on holiday here and there, get to see the people around me, but I wouldn't spend too much money. Like, not, like, not a lot. My face is hot. I'm sick. Slightly. I'm a fucking idiot, guys. I'm a genuine fuck, fucking idiot. Um, but... This isn't the time to beat up myself and feel sorry for myself because, when all honesty, nothing's gonna get done if I if I do that. <laughs> Nothing. I'll remain in the same place as I was before. Become successful. Okay, what would you define as success? A lot of money. I don't really like fame. <laughs> I don't like fame. I don't like being famous. The idea of being famous is really sucks to me. Because then you pe people push me like, oh yeah, you saved me, da, 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 da. and of course it'd be nice in the beginning, but then I think it becomes a annoyance later on, kind of scary. Like um, a lot of rappers get killed, a lot of famous people get killed because of jealousy, envy, greed, lust for power. So I'd rather not be that. I'm 17 and I think I'm fucked. How does that even make sense? Just because I'm not in college. And I think I'm fucked. And the thought that keeps coming to my mind is I would have been fucked anyway. Considering the fact that I went to school with bullshit qualifications. I have no idea what the fuck I was doing. I was just keeping my options open. If you're just keeping your options open in school, you're doomed to fail. Genuinely doomed to fail. I took on subjects that was more difficult for me. I wasn't prepared. It was all my fault. I read somewhere that children often feel powerless in an adult world. And I think it was 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. And I completely agree. I feel completely powerless. I don't even want power. Like, in all genuine honesty, I don't care about other people to the point where I want to have control them over them and have control over the masses and power and, and like spread my influence and power everywhere. I don't care. Okay, I just want my life to be okay. Myself to be financially okay and everything's just going to be okay. But I can't seem to... I can't seem to... I'm sick, by the way, guys. I'm probably going to get my bed. The cold towel over my head. How do you become successful? You have to make a bunch of money in my term, my eyes. How do you make a bunch of money? You can I do it through YouTube and then that's through some sort of affiliate marketing. If you have attention, you can always monopolize it, not monopolize it, but monetize it. Like Jake Paul with boxing fight. He had a pretty penny with that. Um, Jay Paul with the attention from Floyd Mayweather, the gotcha hat thing. I still remember that shit. He stole, just took 
I'm pretty sure I gave it back after getting smacked around by Floyd Mayweather. He's a businessman. Jake Paul's a businessman from to the to the core. What was it again? He took the hat and then he sold the hat, he sold a hat with the sayings "Gotcha hat" on it, and he made like a hundred grand off of it. Probably made more, like half a million or something from by now. So if you have a touch, you can always monetize it. Can always make money. I look back on 2022 and I think I've achieved nothing. Of course I look better, of course I'm fitter, made a bit of money here and there, but it doesn't justify where I am now. I should make more money. It's just, children oft, often feel powerless in an adult world. This is how I feel right now. And no one cares. No one cares. I'm very, very pessimistic at the moment, if you can see it. I'm usually an optimistic person. I'm usually a quite loud, optimistic, happy person not necessarily arrogant not necessarily know it all but i'm usually very very confident in what i know which then leads people to think i'm cocky or i know it all which is wrong i don't know it all i admit this constantly i don't know everything I'm very in fact if anything i'm stupid very very naive for i've seen of course i constantly try to change it but the way i am for now i don't know it all this is me showing my vulnerability as a person some for it out laws of power shit the heights of power. <laughs> Show your vulnerability. I'm fucked, guys. I think I'm fucked, but I will not give up. It's not funny. I, I, it's not. It's genuinely not funny. I will not give up. I think I'm fucked right now. I haven't put enough effort into what I, my business is, into my, my side hustles, into my grinds. It's my fault. Completely and utterly. But it can also be my fault that I'm successful. In five years' time, I want to be in some fucking villa in Bali with my grandparents, chilling... With a nice uh, thing, supercar, and a beautiful view. That's what I want. Five years. This is a ten thousand pounds, fifty thousand pounds a month of lifestyle. How can I make that money? Social media. I could go the Hamza road. So, Hamza road social media, or I can go continue my entrepreneurship road, which I don't see as profitable. I want to get. I want to get in and get out. That's it. Done. Boom. I will not give up. Because if I give up, it's, it's done, all right? If I give up, I go back go back to my nine, go to a nine to five. You don't go back to my nine to five, but go to a nine to five. Go like most most areas want you to work overtime these days. They pay you overtime, but fuck man, then twelve hour shifts kill you. Twelve hour shift, twelve hour shift, twelve hour shift. Feeling like that fucking rat race that everyone gets swept up into, that everyone defends. I don't want to be like that, man. I want freedom. I want to live. I live a life worth living. And people, I tell people this and they laugh at my face. They're like, uh uh. You have to live a shit life like me. And I think to myself, of these quotes by Grant Cardone and these type of guys. Multi vitamins. The ambitions are often, the ambitious are often criticized by those who have given up. And it's very, very true. I tell my ambitions to people and they laugh at me. They laugh at my face. It's very, very tough. Because I'm not perfect. I don't know everything. I'm naive. I don't try hard enough. Wait, what the fuck? That's my issue. <laughs> I'm naive. I don't know enough. And I don't try hard enough. Lack of brains, lack of effort. Fuck, man. It's just... I need money. People hate it when I talk about money. But I want money. I want to curate a reality where everyone around me is talking about money. How fucking difficult is that? Or easy. I went in a little bubble. So school. You call it school. Woohoo. Yeah. This shit won't last forever. Your school will end. School will end and you have to go to work. And then you will be on that grind. You'll be suffering from that stress. If I can stress, suffer from the stress early, if I can sacrifice five years of my life, three to five years of my life, if I can sacrifice it all until I'm 20 or 22, and I can live a life 
worth living with a complete luxury. I, I, I would gladly I'll skip ahead. I'll fucking do it. Five years of my life. I tell people five years, and they're like, five years? That's nothing. No, it, five years is a lot of time. A year is a lot of time. That's 365 days. In a month is a lot of time. What's 24 times 30? I don't even fucking know. 20 times 30, 600. 4 times 30, 120. 720. 7 120 hours. That's a fucking lot of time, man. 24 times 30. I'm a bit of an idiot, guys. I'm not a bit of an idiot. I'm a big idiot. But mark my words. I will be successful. I'll see you guys at the top. Sorry.